Hi everyone. Welcome to some important background information about the art and science of effective communication. First off, in the role of leadership, communication is absolutely inescapable. You cannot be an effective leader unless you're an effective communicator. You can't coach, you can't tone set, you can't delegate and empower others, you can't sell your strategic plan or take risks unless you're good at communication. That's why we call communication a foundational skill set. You've got to be good at it to be an effective leader. Now some additional background information. First of all, let's talk about the objectives of communication and what communication is. Communication very simply is the transfer of data between a couple of folks. It's information being relayed, information being received, and it, it's very much a bi-directional kind of functionality. Now, here's something that's really, really important to remember. There are two primary objectives associated with communication. The first objective is the transfer, the accurate transfer, of data between people. That objective is the one that most people get absolutely right. The second objective of communication is the one that's often uh, overlooked and it's also misunderstood in terms of its uh, importance in the communication process. The second objective of effective communication is to leave the receiver of information with a positive feeling at the end of the communication event. So quite simply that means that no matter how bad the information is or how challenging the data is, the person receiving it walks away with a positive impression of you, the sender of that information. That's true on interpersonal interactions. It's also true with email and written communication as well. So again, the two primary objectives of interpersonal communication are the transfer, the accurate transfer of data, and then secondly, leaving a positive impression on the, uh, sent, on the receiver of the communication process. One other interesting element to talk about is communication richness. Communication richness describes the amount of data that goes along in any communication event. Now, there are three primary levels of richness. The first level of richness in communication is the highest level, and, and what goes along with that are the spoken words, the tone of the interaction, and also all of the nonverbal signals that go along. Now, that richness element is really important because the higher the level of richness, the higher the data accuracy is going to be and the higher the value that that communication is going to have. The second level of communication richness is when you take any type of communication and transfer it to the telephone. Now what happens there is you still get the spoken word and you get a pretty good signal on what the tone is. What you don't get is any of the nonverbal signals or facial expressions that go along. The final and lowest level of richness is when you transfer any communication to the written word. Now what happens there is none of the tone is available or unfortunately the tone is misunderstood or misinterpreted many times and you get none of the nonverbal signals associated with it. So the richness is lowest. Now the reason that that concept is really important is because in the role of leadership it's incumbent on you to make sure that your message gets across. It's incumbent to make sure your directions are followed. It's incumbent on you to make sure that everything you want done happens. To do that, you have to manage that richness process. The underlying lesson there is make sure that the bulk of your communication is interpersonal and avoid going to the written word as much as possible because that's when your richness gets much lower and a lot of the data is lost as a result of that. One other way to think about that is if you think about media for a moment. Television has the highest richness because it combines a visual, audio, and, and in many cases kind of a tone element. The radio, you have the audio element and the tone element, and then when you pick up a newspaper, all you have is the written word. With that, the level of data that transfers also goes down in each one of those mediums. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.